Yes. Um, well, Looks very sweet. interesting. Yes. Uh, that is an animal fridge. Yep. Full of food. Yep. Oops. It's fallen out. Oh yeah. Yum. And Coke. Oh for, yes. For bourbon. Of course. <laughs> I only drink. <laughs> um, food, food drawer. Oh wow. Oh that looks wow. Like that's impressive. awesome. So who's that outback? 12 volt oven. <gasps> And that's for, for lunch, and we can make lasagnas in there. We've actually cooked a roast in it uh, on 200 degrees for about two and a half hours. Oh, wow. wow. It works. We haven't tried a cake yet, but we will. Yes. A um, couple of ARB bags for food. Um, 55 litre water tank. Lights. Uh, Here's your salt. Yeah, yeah, so water yeah. for, um, yeah. And it's got the most important thing of all, coffee machine. <gasps> coffee Can't machine? Can't go anywhere without a coffee machine. Mm -hmm. Wow. That would just be not good. Yeah. Um, I'll show you the other side. side yeah. So, uh, a freezer. Yeah. Pre-cooked meals and a few steaks and a drawer like for that. storage. Yeah. I uh, keep some of my photography gear in there, my drone and... That sort of stuff. Yep. Uh, solar panel, table, couple of chairs, and a hot water service. Yep. And then up the top here we have the shower tent, which is on a swivel arm. Oh, oh yeah. wow. And then we set it up here, and we can use it as a toilet tent or a shower tent. Oh wow. So Good we've thing. only just engineered that, and hopefully we might um, put it on the Jorco site or something and sell them. See wow. We go. We'll keep an eye out for that. Yeah. Yeah. And, so that might uh, go in the back of the van. It's a 3.2 litre Ranger. Yeah. And it's had a lot of work done to it. I mean, yeah. We run a 140 litre fuel tank, yep. an 80 litre sub tank. So we carry about 220 litres for when it's $2.20 a litre and we happen to see it for $2 oh, a litre it? now. <laughs> um, it's uh, locked front and rear. Uh, it's chipped and yeah that's about it don't carry much on the roof yeah just the the max tracks i believe in keeping my weight low yep and the lockers have just got a few tools and a bit of recovery Probably gear in it fair enough yeah and still a lot of weight ends up there easily done yeah so this is our camper this is an ultimate so uh, ours is a 2008 model we've had it about five or six years um, the first one came out, I think, in about 1997. Wow. And a friend of mine, his sister, uh, has ultimate number one. So after 27 years, I think it is now, 28 years, it is still on the road. Wow. Which is amazing. Yeah. They just, these things just, they're only limited by how good your car is. Yeah. Yeah. That these things will go anywhere. They have been everywhere in the country. They've been up to the Cape. This one's been through the Kimberleys, the Gun Barrel, uh, the Gooch Track, um, Streslicky, all of them. Not that you really call them much of an outback track. Yeah. More like a road yeah. these days. Yeah. But yeah, they're, the beauty with them is they're very light on the ball. So mm -hmm. fully loaded in the front, and there is a lot of crap in here. Oh, wow. With oh, yeah. barbecue, yeah, task, yeah. it weighs just on 100 kilos on the ball. Wow. Which That's is insane, phenomenal. Uh, there's not too many campers that can do that. No. So we've got a Truma gas heater for the cold yeah. nights. Yeah, Truma. And uh, yeah, uh, we've got an awning front and rear. Yeah. These are just little mini awnings mm -hmm. that just... When it rains, it keeps the, yeah. the rain off the walls Definitely. and keeps us a bit drier. We've got yeah. one front and rear, and then we've got a full awning out the front so, line, yeah. sort of like every other camper. Yeah. Now the business end, spare wheel. Uh, all my wheels are matched, so everything that's on the camper matches my car and vice versa. So we don't end up carrying three spares, we only yeah. need the two. Yeah. We've never found a need to carry anything more. And like I said, we've been many, many places. Yeah. We like yeah. to get out there. Yep. Um, yeah, uh, we call it the chicken ladder. Chicken ladder. And yeah, come inside.
Wow. Wow. So we've got a full size, uh, king size bed. King. king size bed, yes, and I still only get that much room for some reason. <laughs> Doesn't matter how big the bed is, I only ever get that much room. <laughs> so um, oh, we awesome. have uh, obviously the couch with under seat storage everywhere. Yep. Mm -hmm. All the way around, wow. clothes and um, some people keep food in them and like to keep their clothes in bags. Uh, the beauty with these is that people have so many different ways they carry things. Um, this being an older model, we're still all fiberglass inside. The newer models uh, have got more of like a composite timber. Okay. Uh, so they've got a few more drawers and it's basically the same setup. The setup hasn't really changed in 25 years. Just they look more modern. But we've got all the same luxuries. We've got another fridge. Good. Oh, this is great! Yeah, um, fridge, fridge. so we can cook in the in wet weather. We've got the shit with the galley shelf up there. Um, three, two burner stove, water, another hatch there. Uh, all the windows open up all the way around. Um, yeah, and the bed just folds on top, so we the mattresses stack on here. Oh yeah, and it just collapses and looks like an upside down boat yeah. I think uh, that yeah. the original owners of ultimate yeah. were um, were apparently boat makers originally and oh. they wanted a camper for so, their own and that's so how you they can understand this. yeah you can understand the design and, um, yeah. there's new owners now yeah. um, the company's now owned by Eagle Outdoors yep and uh, it's um, David and Bromman Rogers yep. and uh awesome people oh, okay. uh, really nice people yeah wow yeah, yeah we'll give them the a shout out the one thing about owning an ultimate we have a community yep. like no other oh wow um once you belong to the family it's pretty hard not to be part of the family mm -hmm. because we we kind of have um how would you say um we just think that our camper is better than everyone else's <laughs> So yeah. you know, it pretty spectacular. That, yeah. some people think they have a great camper until they we see this. know we We've have got, a great yeah. camper. Yeah. Well said. Camper. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Well said. Well said. Um, yeah. So there. That's about in the nutshell. Got any what questions? I've, I've carry Karen? a couple of those no. fans, Campro no, fans. Um, um, whisper quiet. Yeah. Um, there. Oh. That's about all there is. Oh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. This little thing, but it's easy to tow. Yeah. What's the setup time? What to take? Um, to pretty much depends on. Some people can have one of these up in about three or four minutes. Yeah. Um, we take a little bit longer. We just take it easy. Yeah. We don't rush it. Yeah. Um, usually from from start to sitting down. If we're not unhooking. Um, seven eight minutes wow, and we're still, pretty much done still quick uh, rear folds are a lot faster mm. admittingly yeah. um, but when it's bucketing down with rain they struggle to cook we still got a full kitchen mm. yeah. so yeah, we quick. don't we don't have a, we have somewhere to see it yeah. we don't have to sit in camping chairs yeah. uh, you know when it's cold we turn the heater on we sit back yeah. If we're in caravan parks and um, yeah, yeah, wow, it's it's fantastic. It's, but they don't take long to set up. Uh, packing is maybe a few minutes longer because you've got to make sure you get all the canvas in properly. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they're no real bother. Yeah. Uh, they've made a lot of some of the new ones. They they have an actuator now, so you just press a button and the whole thing just comes up. Oh wow. Which is yeah, you know, for wow. the the lazy people. <laughs> uh, the lids have changed over the years. Mm. We've still got a heavy lid. Mm. The the new ones, I think the lid's about 40, 50 kilos lighter, wow. so they don't need the braces anymore. Mm. They they just support by this, mm. and they they just have one tiny little crossbar. But uh, yeah, the ultimate community is an awesome community. Mm. They. But you're driving down the road, and if you see somebody waving like an idiot, you know they're in an ultimate. <laughs> <laughs> well done, yeah. well done. Thank you for your time. No worries. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, we'll 
really impressive, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah we seen them though. and we just went, oh, we've got to come and talk. So yeah. thank you for your time. No worries. No anytime. worries. And we'll see you on the road. Yeah, we certainly will.